I wish a very good morning dear students. So as in the previous lecture we have started uh, homogeneous differential equations and uh, I have explained you the meaning of homogeneous differential equations as well as uh, the questions related to the same. Now we are going to do some more questions of this topic and if possible we will see the next topic too in the same video. Okay, so stay tuned. Okay, so here is the question. x square minus y square dx plus 2xy dy dx equal to 0 given that y equal to 1 when x is equal to 1. This I will tell you what are these conditions. But first we need to solve this differential equation. So this is not in the proper form. Let us arrange it and get what will be our dy dx. Taking this term that side dx in the denominator 2xy in the denominator so minus of x square minus y square upon 2xy now for solving the homogeneous differential equation as i told you you have to substitute y is equal to vx from here get the value of v that is y upon x then uh, uh, differentiate both the sides with respect to x so it will be dy dx equal to v plus x dv dx now substitute in place of dy dx just put v plus x dv dx equal to minus x square minus in place of y we can put v square x square upon 2x into vx take x square common upon this also x square as you can see that this x square to x square will get cancelled minus inside if you take minus inside minus of 1 plus of v square so v square uh, and this will be sorry minus 1 okay now what you can do take v that side so x dv dx uh, see i just want to let you know one thing that in the previous video uh, there was one mistake uh, with one of the step i think uh, so please see that uh, one of the student told me okay please under understand maybe some mistake has been done there by me okay so here x dv dx take v that side so v square minus 1 upon 2v minus v take the LCM so v square minus 1 minus 2 v square upon 2v so x dv dx v square v square minus 2v square you will get minus of v square minus 1 upon 2v just separate it on separating we'll get minus of uh, v upon 2 and minus of 1 upon 2 v now uh, what we can do okay just instead of separating take 2v there and this numerator in the denominator so 2v upon minus of v square minus 1 equal to dv equal to dx upon x isn't it now take minus common so minus of 2v upon v square plus 1 dv equal to dx upon x integrate both the sides so on integrating both the sides here you need to substitute v square plus 1 equal to p you will get 2v dv equal to dt so you can uh, replace it and finally you will get log of v square plus 1 you know after uh, when you will solve you will get this one don't worry now in place of v square we can put y upon x so just put it and in place of y at the very last place of y put 1 in place of x put 1 you will get the value of c now you again come to the main uh, step and just put you will get a final differential equation okay which is which will be independent of the any that means this c so y square upon x square plus 1 equal to log x plus c now y, y is also 1 x is also 1 1 plus 1 2 so this will be minus of log 2 this will be log 1 plus c log 1 is what 0 so uh, c will be equal to minus of log 2 now come to this step we have no this one minus of log 
y square x square plus 1 equal to log x minus log 2 okay now what we can do take this minus of term that side and log 2 here so log 2 is equal to log x plus log y square x square plus 1 log n plus log n is log what log n plus n log m into n sorry so you will get here log of y square upon x plus x equal to log 2 now uh, on comparing the log function you will get the final answer so that will be the final solution of it okay so like this we will do the questions now like this we have to solve for the homogeneous differential equation okay so here is the next question x e to the power y upon x minus y plus x dv dx equal to 0 given y at e equal to 0 I'll explain you what is all this about okay but first let us solve this differential equation and find its particular solution you know uh, you are aware with the particular solu solution and general solution first we will find the general its general homogeneous uh, differential uh, sorry general solution and with this particular value we will get the particular solution okay so that is what all about but uh, first let us solve so uh, this is not in the uh, proper way so we have found dy dx taking all the terms one side and dy dx one side i got this step taking my uh, minus of y that side and this term also that side and this x is will be in the denominator so it will be like this let y equal to vx or v will be y upon x differentiate both the sides so we'll get dy dx and here product rule y plus x dv dx on substitution we get in place of dy dx we'll put v plus x dv dx equal to here v minus e to the power v as you can see that v to v we can easily cancel we are left with x dv dx is equal to minus of e to the power v now uh, bring all the x terms one side and v terms another side so dv dv upon e to the power v equal to minus dx uh, uh, dx upon x or we can write this as e to the power minus v dv equal to minus of x uh, dx upon x now integrating both the sides okay so what will be the integration of e to the power minus v it will be e to the power minus v upon minus of 1 okay and here it will be minus of log x plus uh, log x plus c okay so here we got minus e to the power minus v equal to minus of log x plus c now we need to in place of v we can put y upon x so i am putting uh, like this okay uh, and what we can do take log x this side so it will be log x minus e to the power minus y upon x is equal to c now what does this says that at y at x is equal to e the value of y is equal to 0 why because this is the equation in terms of y is equal to fx form all right this is y equal to some fx form no so whenever you are uh, getting say for example uh, you are getting such type of particular condition so this means that in place of x you have to put 0 uh, you have to put 2 and in place of y you have to put 0 okay this is also a way of writing uh, of uh, like this is also a way of uh, mm, giving a condition instead of like this they, they they should write like this that x is equal to e and y is equal to 0 so how they have written y at e is 0 so in place of x we have to put e and in place of y we have to put 0 so uh, log e minus e to the power 0 upon minus 0 upon x is equal log e is what 1 and this is what uh, uh, 0 so e to the power 0 uh, is what e to the power 0 is so we will get what as log e is 1 and here it will be e to the power 0 it will also be 1 okay so 1 minus 1 equal to c or c is equal to 0 now you put this c equal to 0 here 
so we'll get in place of c we'll get 0 take this term that side so you'll ha have the equation as log x is equal to e to the power minus y upon x this is the final answer okay uh, maybe at the back you are given the value of c as 1 okay uh, so maybe i don't know how they got c equal to 1 but uh, after so many trials uh, this c is 0 uh, that means the constant is coming 0 okay and i i think this is the corrected answer okay so don't think that this is the wrong that means at the final step it's wrong okay so here is the next question the question i have written condition also i have written i have given the hint to you please take the help if you won't otherwise read the question write in the copy and try to solve by your own okay so i'm leaving this question for you all right you know this is some other kind of question which we uh, i'm just discussing with you okay uh, I, actually this is not in the our course book but still you just you, you need to understand how to solve this one you are given with x plus y dy dx is equal to x plus y plus 1 dx from here i have found dy dx is equal to x plus y plus 1 upon x plus y now till now what we were doing uh, we were substituting y equal to vx you know even if you do here so we'll get x plus vx plus 1 upon x plus vx and what we used to get we used to get x common from the numerator and on from the denominator too and we cancel and we can easily separate the vv terms and xx terms but you know here v and x they both are in the connections and it would be somewhat challenging or typical thing for us to make them separate so what we are doing we are substitute from our function from our this function we are trying to substitute a thing which can be easily substituted and after that uh, that means our v term could be separated easily and x term could be sep separated easily so from here as you can see that x plus y and x plus y we are substituting that x plus y equal to v S differentiating x will get 1 and y dy dx is equal to dv dx this is also one way of solving a differential equation because to make this in a simplified way that is why we are substituting accordingly so from here dy dx will be dv dx minus 1 so in place of this we can put dv dx minus 1 equal to x plus y can be substituted with v plus 1 upon v okay so uh, just uh, separate it will get 1 plus 1 upon v take minus 1 that side so minus 1 plus 1 it will become 2 so this will be 2 plus 1 upon v uh, now what we can do take dx uh, or we can just take the lcm it will be 2v plus 1 upon v dv dx take v terms one side and x terms another uh, x term another side if you have any not having no problem okay so it will be v upon equal to dx will it be like this yeah now how to integrate after this multiply 2 first in the numerator and denominator so what you will get 2v upon 2 bracket 2v plus 1 dv equal to dx add plus 1 and minus 1 in the denominator so i have added plus 1 and minus 1 in the denominator now let us separate this with this one and one with this 2v plus 1 so it will be like this here you will get 1 so on integrating both the sides you will get the answer okay so i hope you will do after this so i also expect that all the examples you will do it okay uh, that's it for today thank you so much and have a nice day uh, in the uh, next lecture we'll take differential uh, linear differential equation how to solve the linear differential equation of first order okay thank you